and my dog thinks that it's food. Oh, hello, Penny. Hello. Yes, it's not food, it's tasty electronics. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I don't think you want any, Penny. I don't think you, well, maybe you do want a four port Nick card. Huh? Do you want a four port Nick card? I don't think you want a four port Nick card. I want a four port Nick card. Hey guys, Tim here. Today with a quick unboxing of the HP NC364T. Um, it's not much of an unboxing because I've actually already taken it out. And uh, it really just comes in a package anyways. This is a four single gig ethernet. So each one is one gig ports. Uh, it does come with teaming software so that you can actually team any of the four ports together. So you could have a one gig link or so four one gig links or uh, one four gig link, even though it would be aggregates to, to four uh, individual pipes. So it's not really four gigs. This is basically your step before you go to a 10 gig card. Now, the reason I wanted it actually isn't for the bandwidth. It's actually for the sheer number of ports. So what I'm gonna use this for is my own router. And I'm gonna assign one to be incoming, two to be outgoing to access points, uh, the ubiquity, which is actually right here. So I will home run uh, the ubiquity access points directly to uh, the network card itself. And then the last one will be an output to, right now it's just a little D-Link switch, but eventually it'll be uh, one of the Cisco managed routers. And the reason I'm doing this is I'm just tired of not having enterprise-ish network stuff at home. Uh, this is an enterprise class card. This is actually made for servers. So why did I buy it? Well, first of all, right now these are because 10 gig is uh, becoming so popular. These four gig cards are actually coming down quite a bit in price. This was actually $100 on Amazon. And, you know, it was originally a $600 card. So... Pretty cool. Everything, of course, has its own link light indicators. Um, the other reason I went with this one is it is an Intel chipset. It's the 82571EB processors with uh, 526 kilobytes of memory apiece. So it's going to be able to handle a decent amount of uh, traffic. Um, one thing uh, that I, I, I will watch is how the packet transfer rates go, but I can't imagine that my home network's going to go above a gig on any single link. So this is probably just fine. Um, really, uh, it's got a four gig or a four, <laughs> four gig. It's got a four gig. The four gig has a four gig. It's got a four uh, X uh, PCI E 1.0, uh, which is really all it needs. Uh, you don't really need, I think, you know, if you saw the, a newer version of this card, it probably would just be a 1X um, PCIe 2.0. But it is the the 4X, which means there's plenty of bandwidth for all four uh, ports. It does have uh, some limited tow capability, which is uh, engine offloading so that the card can do a little bit more of work and take some of the stream off of the processor, which for in the case I'm gonna use it is actually good because I'm gonna be using it for uh, a router where I'm using a you know a two core AMD chip. So you know if all four of these ports are lit up at once, this will be able to offload a little bit of the processing power of the packet. And other than that, um, like I said, we covered the teaming software, the the other place you might want to use this is, you know, say you had a home server and you want to stream to multiple computers in the house for uh, maybe your RIP DVD collection. You could team all four ports and uh, individually link them to your switch. Now, you have to have a managed switch to do this. You, you do need enterprise class hardware um, because it does take some configuration when you um, team. It does take some configuration on the network side as well. I do this all the time at work, so I'm, I'm kind of well aware of the stipulations. You never truly get true load balancing, but it's better than a single link. 
So you can do that, but you do need a managed switch. You do need something where you can tell the ports on the switch that it's a team set so that when you link to this guy, stuff just doesn't go crazy. Now, you can get a Cisco managed switch that supports teaming for two or $300. If it's that important to you that you be able to use four gigs off of your home server, you're probably gonna wanna buy that class of uh, network switch anyways. Outside of that, it's a great price for a four gig card. If you know if you wanna spend a hundred bucks on a network card, um, there's not much better out there than this other than the 10 giggers. Um, I've always been very happy with my HP network cards. Like I said, it's an Intel chipset, so it's just an Intel network card. And I don't know. They've always been rock solid for me. So this is Tim for Timmy Tech TV. You'll see this in the build soon. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to screen capture some of that stuff and show you where I screw up everything. But until then, we'll see you guys next time.